Iowa Motor Speedway with uh, uh, Sebastian Bourdais, uh, last week's winner of Milwaukee. Uh, how are you, Sebastian? Very good. It's, uh, I really appreciate uh, you taking the time for the Indy Sports Car Podcast today. Yeah, no worries. That's, that's, what, we're, that's what we're here for. You know, we got a satisfying request. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Uh, um, now, um, uh, what kind of a downforce level are you, you aiming for for this track uh, this weekend? I think everybody's going to be on the high side. Of these With the new Iro kits, I think we can uh, we can go anywhere from you know, less than what we had last year to about four, five, maybe six hundred pounds more downforce than last year. So um, depends a lot on the temperature and, and what the, the new tires for this year are going to be like. Uh, Firestone obviously brings you know, a bit of a variation from year to year, um, rubber or construction or something. So we'll see how much grip we get out there and, and what we can get away with. You. You don't want too much downforce because you don't want to be a sitting duck and have too much drag on the car. But uh, you know, it's been proved uh, in the last two races that you do not want to be on the light side. Otherwise, uh, as soon as it gets bunched up, you're, you're really hurting. So it's, uh, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a mind game. Yeah, I mean, um, now yeah, we we've, we've always we've been saying like the last few years, Milwaukee has been like a jumping jumping off point. Though the last two years, the winner of Milwaukee has gone to win the championship. So. I mean, you're already a, a, a two-race winner this year, so um, how confident do you feel that you can catch Juan and uh, uh, pass him by uh, by uh, Sonoma? I don't know, man. I'm not really thinking about that. I think uh, we just uh, enjoyed the ride. Uh, you know, you see that KBSH uh, team is doing a great job this year. We've uh, definitely uh, pulled quite some uh, performances along the way. Uh, maybe we could have done a little better uh, at times in terms of just results and points, but. Uh, it's, uh, it's a good group of guys who have a good time and we're working hard, but also, I mean, you know, like I said, just a lot of fun doing it. And uh, got great sponsors with uh, Mystic and Hydroxica. It's kind of all starting to gel together. It took one year to really kind of restart it all together and, and have some solid baseline setups. And I think now that we've pretty much kind of clear and we need out the, the bad options and, and start the weekend with good setups, then we can we can do better. Short weekends and, and have a, a quicker progression. Now, um, how do you feel with the uh, qualifying and the race being so close together now, uh, last two uh, races? It's it's dangerous, obviously. You know, you, you, everybody understands that if you, if you make a mistake in qualifying or something bad happens, you, know, you, you could miss the show. So it's uh, something you try and get out of your system, but uh, it's it's always in the back of your mind. You, you got to make sure that. When you make a quality attempt, you don't you don't, don't go bananas because if, if you get it wrong, then that could be it. Of course. Now, now my uh, co-host always likes to ask every driver we interview, um, uh, what keeps you most comfortable in the car, boots and gloves? Uh, I yeah, I use Puma shoes, but everything else is far better. Uh, hotter or uh, a softer sole on your uh, foot? Uh, on the soft side, I got some I got some uh, foot issues, so I. Okay, okay. Well, uh, Sebastian, I would love uh, to thank you for spending some time with the Indy Sports Car Podcast. Thank you very much. All right.